Steve Miotti here at High Octane Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts with Chevrolet's GTO Fighter, the SS396 Chevelle. Now this is a 1967, the second year for the mighty SS396, ignoring the 1965 Z16 of which only 201 were made. But here in 1967, a total of 63,006 of these were built and they all had this cool double bubble hood which doesn't do anything but look cool and sell cars because it was awesome and then up at the front of course there's the SS396 badge and the semi blacked out grill all this stuff right here major status symbols on the street now the SS396 of course super sport the 396 well that's a big block Chevy engine and let's take a peek at it and there it is now this one is the L34 which cost an extra $105 over the L35 base 396. What's different about the L34? Well, here it says Holly right there. That means there's a Holly four barrel under this open element air cleaner instead of the Rochester Quadrajet, which would have been on the standard 325 horsepower L35. And so as the air cleaner reads, 350 horse, another 25, and also four bolt mains in this block and a slightly hotter can. Now this is not the L78, so a lifter 375 horse 396 which takes a lot more maintenance aluminum intake solid lifters it's not really for the uh the amateur with that said beautiful restoration under the hood on this one everything's crisp and as it should be the alternator's been correctly finished in natural aluminum a big radiator this is a plastic reproduction but again it hides in plain sight which is fine by me and it's sort of a carbon fiber top with uh, or you know plastic with an aluminum core keep this rat nice and cool um, something kind of interesting is it has power steering, which is a nice touch, of course, big block, three point turns, but it has manual brakes. Now here's the thing. Let's go to the wheels on this. 1967 was the first year for optional disc brakes on the front of SS 396s. But when you had those, you had to have the 15 inch rally wheels with the slots because this car has the steelies with the mid range um, wheel covers with the SS. This is a drum brake car. So it's manual drums front and rear, which is OK. You know, as long as you're not driving like Steve McQueen and Bullet, you'll be fine with these drum brakes on this car. So again, it's a 67 first year for the dual circuit master cylinder, first year for optional discs but you had to pay for them. This one is a drum brake car. It's properly restored. Hats off to the restorer, well, for not mixing the medicines and, uh, and changing things up. This is a very pure original car, right down to the red line tires, which were standard with the SS396. Now inside, let's see what we have. Okay, it does have bucket seats and a center console, which were extra cost items, believe it or not. The bench was standard in Supersport after 1964. But with that said, here it is, the uh, Astro Buckets, and yes, a four-speed transmission. Uh, now that is the uh, Muncie four-speed, aluminum case, very rugged piece, and nothing connects the driver and the car like a clutch pedal and a stick shift. So nice to see it. And here it is right here, this tachometer right here. This is the, they call this the blinker tack. Why? Well, this is an optional tachometer right here. The little triangle right there is the blinker for going left. When you take a left, this thing illuminates and blinks. Why? Well, when this was mounted, the blinker in the dash is covered up. So they had to put the blinker right there. So it's called the blinker tack, and that's correct to this car. Kind of a cool little touch. But again, nicely restored inside. AM radio, factory radio in place. And, um, and like all SS396s in 1967, this is a hard top. The post coupe, the sedan, was not available until, I think, 1969. You could actually get a post. That's a little later on. Now, this is the real deal. has the correct, again, wheels and tires. I like how the wheels are painted to match the body, which is a correct treatment on this car. The dual exhaust pipes come out. This, this is correct. There's no chrome tips in 67. This is a correct treatment of the pipe, sort of out the side. Super Sport right here. Instant street credibility. SS means nothing but big block. And the VIN on this one does start with a 138. So it's a true SS396. And beyond that, the engine block has the EF suffix code, which is correct for a 350 horse L34 four speed 396. So it's the real deal. Another detail too is on the back of these uh, big block SS's, the tail is uh, blacked out right there. It's very sinister, kind of gives the car a bandit, sort of like a, a, a raccoon kind of a vibe. Don't mess with me. So the guy, Coming up behind you in the uh, GTO, better be a tri-power to even think about messing with your L34. Uh, again, tri-power GTOs are cool, but they don't have the same cylinder heads as these rat motor Chevys. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's pop the trunk and see. 
what's inside. Yeah, nicely detailed, crisp here, correct blue paint on the hinges and uh, fresh rubber, uh, just nice. And inside the trunk, spare tire with the correct steel wheel, uh, G7814 bias ply tire and this, this spat, spatter paint, as it were, the uh, Zolotone on the insides and underneath the trunk mat, I checked this out and it's actually pretty nice. This is all pretty much correct in the way it should be. Uh, so a nice restoration uh, on this 67 SS 396. A real car, 138 code, four speed car, numbers matching engine with the EF suffix code. And again, the Holly four barrel on that L34 350 horse 396. So this car can be purchased with as little as 10% down here at High Octane Classics, and they will deliver the car to your place of work, your school, whatever you might like. And they certainly do take trades, uh, late models, customs, hot rods, you name it, they'll consider it. And if you're thinking about maybe a, a career change, you want to be around muscle cars, uh, High Octane Classics is always looking for sales and service associates. So maybe give them a call at 508-859-4515 to talk to them about maybe a career change. You never know. Uh, but to learn more about this 67 SS396 four-speed numbers matching car, check it out on the High Octane Classics website.